friend of mine laughed recently at the extortionate increase in petrol prices, saying that it doesn't affect him because he only puts £20 each time in anyway. As Basil Brush used to say, boom and indeed boom. Most people notice when the price of petrol goes up. It becomes a topic of conversation and a news item rolled into one. But what if the price of, let's say, toilet roll stays the same and the number of sheets is reduced by 20? Do we notice this? Or if a big box of cornflakes goes from 500 grams to 480 grams. The reduction for us as a consumer might be relatively minimal, but the effect for a large company that sells hundreds of thousands of units per day shows on their bottom line almost as well as a price increase. Isn't it exactly the same thing? Welcome to the world of shrinkflation. This is a highly subtle form of hiding cost rises because to the untrained eye, it is almost impossible to spot. As we round the supermarket in our trolleys weekly or online, we don't truly stop to assess the price of every single item that we purchase, but we do notice if the cost of the bill at the till has risen. This sends a jolt of awareness through our wallets and purses each time. However, we notice even less if the same family-friendly brand packaging that we buy every week is slightly smaller. The bet for the producer is this. Not only do we not notice even if we are paying attention to the prices, we fail to notice because the item, other than being very subtly smaller, looks exactly the same and costs the same. The image of being identical is entirely by design. A sleight of hand trick from the manufacturer, fooling us in not too dissimilar a way to the genius at the petrol pump who thinks that petrol rises won't affect him. So how do we combat this savagely conniving theft? Can we buy one and one eighth packet of cornflakes? Can we pay 3p less for a bar of chocolate? No, we can't. But the first step to winning this little battle with a manufacturer is to tell them that we are noticing what they are doing in the first place. This kind of underhand tactic rarely makes the front page. So highlighting the fact that this is going on right under our noses is the first step in letting them know that the game is over.